you look at this vehicle on the outside and there's only a few differences that you see, right? But when you look under the skin, you see a whole bunch of things that customers won't get if they just put an aftermarket turbo on. You're gonna see an engine that's designed for a turbo. You're gonna see clutches that were designed for a turbo, a transmission that's stronger and designed for a turbo, and everything else through the system, the front drive, the prop shaft, the half shaft, the brakes, they're all designed to handle the horsepower that we're able to put into this vehicle. You know, we thought about areas that we could improve the durability and, and make stronger on this machine. Everything that is receiving power from the engine is new, beefed up, stronger, more robust. So we thought about things like putting a gear-driven reverse in that transmission instead of having a chain. So you don't have to worry about a chain breaking. You've got solid gears connecting to one another. Uh, we've gone to a, a flange on the prop shaft versus a, a slip joint, so you actually have a prop shaft that's bolted to the transmission now. Uh, we've got a stronger output shaft going up to the front drive so that when you're you know, using all-wheel drive and you're transferring a lot of power to those front wheels, that you've got a strong system all the way back. When we get up to the front drive, we've gone to larger output hubs so that we can handle bigger half shafts, basically so we can have higher load capacity going through the whole drive line. So this is the first time that we've redesigned off-road clutches specifically for a Razor. The clutches themselves are bigger, and the reason they're bigger is, is we wanted to maximize the contact area that the belt has with the clutches. What we also paid specific attention to was the clutch box. We tried to get as much air into the clutch box as we possibly could. Now we're trying to really direct that flow within the clutch box to make sure it's directed at the belt, at the hot parts, to get as much of that out as we can. As a rider, what that means is very good belt life. It has no issues in the high load situation in the dune, even with 144 horsepower. Lastly, we made that serviceable. So 2,500, 3,000 miles, you can inspect your drive clutch. If that slider is starting to get thin, they're replaceable. You don't have to replace the clutch. We had to upgrade that transmission, we had to upgrade the shafts, and we had to upgrade the clutches. So when you look at all these driveline upgrades, they really help to make sure that you can take all that power and get it to the ground.